What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to take a look at setting up the Maximizer software from Maximum Settings to uh, connect to Moonlight on your local display and stream your cloud PC from Maximum Settings. Uh, typically for an AMD rig, we're doing this on a 6800 XT, which should soon to be the tier three, if I am correct, but that's what we're testing this out on here. So you're going to want to grab your credentials and get logged in first and get onto your summary page. And once you do that, you're going to click uh, to start your rig up here where mine says run. I've already got mine good to go to save a little time. Once it's up and running, you're going to want to click on the console and then start console. This is typically how you're going to access your VM if you're not already familiar. You can get in to do a lot of software installing and maintenance and different things you need to do uh, before streaming to Moonlight. So it only takes a little bit and that gets booted up ready to go. Now if Maximizer is not already pre-installed for you, you can use your download link like I have and go ahead and download the Maximizer software. So I'm going to go in here, double click on that. We're going to click on this and we're going to go ahead and extract this, extract all. You can extract everything just right here in the same folder. Won't take very long for that to happen. And then we'll go ahead and get into the installer. So now we've got that ready. We'll click here and we can right click and run as administrator. That's what you're going to want to do when you're installing this here. And then with this pop up, just click more info and then run anyway. Now it won't take very long and we'll go ahead and get started up here. You might see a little pop up down here. Watch for that. You know, if it highlights down, you got to click yes to give it some more permission. Now it can get cramped here on the uh, console. I think this is 800p, uh, a little small of a window. So you might not be able to see everything when you're installing software such as Maximizer here. So go ahead and move things around or resize your windows as you need to so that you can see everything. And you'll see now we've got the next button at the bottom. So no big deal. You just move things around and, and do as you need. We'll click next here. Once we do that, a couple another agreement. Now this is all based on the Sunshine software that's always been used to connect to uh, to Moonlight. Shout out to the uh, fantastic people who have worked for so many years on Sunshine, and uh, and now that's being used for this uh, Maximizer software, and that's really really cool. All right, so we're proceeding on, just following the prompts here, finishing this install. It only takes a minute, and then once you're done, you're going to need to do a reboot. So we'll go ahead and we'll exit out of this software, and you can reboot from your summary page with restart, or you can just do it right here in your console, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do. Go ahead and restart the, uh, the VM, and I'll speed us through that. And here we are restarted, ready to go. Now, here's a little glitch, uh, a little pop up. Now, you got to go ahead and allow this stuff and continue on. But you need the net framework um, in installed. This happens a lot for software. No big deal. But there's a little glitch where it keeps popping up over and over and over again to install it. This might not happen to you by the time you get to using the software. But it happened to me. So I left it in the video just in case. Now, all I'm going to do is just highlight the original one that I started installing, the only one that needs to finish and move it over here so I can see it. I'm just going to let those pop ups happen over there. You only need to install uh, this one time. One of these, these are just going to keep popping up. Let it go. Once the install finishes, you'll be able to cancel all those out and you'll be just fine. It just keeps requeuing it and repopping it up until it's done. So that's finished. We'll close that. Cancel all these. We're done. We're good to go. So if that happens to you, no big deal. You can get through it there. And if it doesn't, great. So now we've got Maximizer good to go. We've got our control panel. Um, our task here, everything that you need. We'll just take a quick look here. We'll go into host settings. Now the default in your host settings, again, we need to resize our, uh, our window a little bit here. Your host settings are pretty much the default that you're going to want to start with and stick with. Um, just my conversations and my testing so far qualities where you're going to want to be for right now. There are other options, balanced and speed and things you might need to play with eventually. But for now we want to stay default. And we'll stick with quality as we jump into everything here. So now we've got to go to our local machine and uh, set up Moonlight. So if you haven't already installed Moonlight, I'll have a link in the description for you. It only takes a couple minutes to go install, uh, download and install Moonlight. You're going to want to go into your settings. I'm going to start with 1440p, uh, 60 FPS, 60 megabits per second. That's just a baseline for me uh, when, I'm, when I'm starting into something. But uh, there's a lot of adjustment for you there. Getting into the video encoder options, Max Settings does recommend if you can go into the force hardware decoding. Um, and then for your video codec, we want to go with um, the .265. If, you're, if your device supports it, if not, you could leave it automatic and it should pick up what you do support. But that's what they're recommending there. Now we're going to add PC, click the little add button up here and it's going to want your IP address. So this is when we go back to our browser and back to our summary page for Max Settings. And we're, you're going to put your IP into Moonlight here. And then once you do that, you're going to see your rig pop up with a little lock on it. Just click it once and you'll get a pin. 
Once you have that pinned, just go back to your console and you'll see the little pop-up from Moonlight here. Uh, that should happen automatically for you, so put your pin in there. And it should just remember you all the time after this. You should only have to do this one time once everything's set up. And there you go. The pin is accepted and everything's uh, ready to happen. We're going to go ahead and go back to Moonlight and click on our rig. Click play on the desktop. And we should wind up good to go here. All right, there we go. Now it did automatically default me to 1080p uh, on my first setup here, which does happen a lot. So uh, no big deal. We'll change that in just a minute. I'll go ahead and bring up the panel again just to make sure everything's looking good. No issues here. And again, hardware, quality, all good to go. We don't need to make any changes right now. So let's go ahead and change my resolution. Easy enough. Like I said, we are streaming 14460 uh, with Moonlight, and I do do everything at 1440p. So we'll click our monitor there. We'll click 1440 keep it and we're good to go now I'm gonna switch my background and everything I can't stand the default stuff there we go I got rid of the little halo picture and everything and um, put my dark theme on and my background and we're all good to go here so we're gonna open up Steam and we're gonna get into uh, bright memory infinite just a little bit of gameplay there to check it out I'm gonna install a bunch more games on here we're gonna do a lot more testing with picture quality how games are running we'll do some stuff at unlimited frame rates um, we'll, we'll dive into a lot of testing with um, the 6800 XT rig here and with maximizer and just the quality do we get disconnect you know just just really run it through its paces uh, now that we have access to it and we'll be definitely be making more videos but I think this covers the basic setup how to get everything running for you for moonlight and maximizer and get onto your max settings rig and get it running and you can see here I've got the game capped out at 60 because I'm streaming 60. It just keeps things a bit smoother uh, for me rather than running a higher uh, rate. But I could do 120 FPS with Moonlight and uh, and with the game and do just fine. That would be awesome as well. If I wasn't uh, recording at 60 here, uh, I could also run Unlimited. There's a lot that you can do, and we'll get into more of that in future videos. Uh, but you can see here the game is running fantastic. Uh, latency felt great. Uh, really no complaint. I've always enjoyed Moonlight connected to NVIDIA GPUs and connecting to the AMD 6800 XT here with Maximizer. Um, based off of that Sunshine software, it too feels great through Moonlight. And you can see, hopefully, even though YouTube won't really do it justice, the stream quality uh, was really good. And this is something you'll be able to adjust yourself with the bitrate and Moonlight, right? Uh, depending on your resolution and the bitrate you set and that type of thing will affect the picture quality. But this at 1440, 60 megabits per second, 60 frames per second, um, this looked really clean for me here on my 1440p gaming monitor. Again, it felt great. I didn't have any problems. I played the game for about a half an hour. I didn't get any disconnects. I never ran into major stuttering or, um, you know, hiccups or problems. It just seemed to work really, really well. And uh, hopefully that'll continue to be the experience moving forward. So I'll leave you with a couple of more minutes of gameplay if you guys want to check out a little bit more bright memory running here on the 6800 XT through Maximizer and Moonlight. But I think that'll do it. I think that covers the setup and everything for you guys. I really appreciate you coming to check out the video as always. And if you haven't already, uh, subscribe, give a like, uh, ring the bell so you know when new videos come out. And definitely leave me your comments below. If you have any problems or issues or you just want to talk about this stuff, um, again, the comments are great, but go join Discord as well uh, for Game Tech Planet and we can talk more over there and we can also get a hold of the max settings team if we need to answer anything else all right guys again thanks a lot for coming to watch the video really appreciate it i'll see you in the next one shelia got several hostiles heading your way roger
Magnetic field is unstable. I can't get a lock on your signal. Wake should be arriving in the vicinity. You're gonna have to rely on him. Understood. I'm currently heading toward the black hole. Okay. Report immediately if anything happens. 